Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to answer one of the questions that I keep getting asked about why I am selling rather than renting my property. So I get asked this question a lot and it was something I considered both sides of for quite a while. So for me, if I sell my house, I can invest the money that I make from it. So I always have the capital for if I choose to buy again in the future. And I can use the interest if needed to support my life, well, living my life. Um, and I'm not expecting to live a very expensive life. I'm going to try and live on a budget of £2,000 a month going to try <laughs> or at least average that out I'm at, which is why I'm choosing some cheap countries and some uh, uh, you know mix them up so that it averages out that now for if you're new to my channel and you're not quite sure what I'm talking about I am setting up in the UK to go traveling full time and I've set myself a target of at least five years so for five years the alternative to selling the property would have been to rent it and there's a few reasons why I went against that. Um, one of them is uh, it's an emotional uh, thing. It's like, this is my home. Thinking of people in my home. Would I ever want to come back to it if someone else had been in it? But I think that the more practical side was, uh, financially, I didn't think I would be any better off. I mean, yes, you would think over five years, the value of the house would have risen and I would have had some capital. But you have to think that you you collect your rent. I would have to have an agent to manage it for me, so they would take a percentage. On top of that, I'd have extra fees in landlord fees, the annual checks that you have to do to have a tenant in your property, like gas checks, electricity checks. Um, and then on top of, so you've got to take all those costs out, insurances, repairs, annual checks, agent fees. And then you get taxed on it. So... By the time I've done all that, um, it was actually quite a significant amount of money less than I would get from, from getting interest. But I do appreciate you don't get the capital increase, so I have to make sure that some of that interest goes back into the pot to keep that steady. Um, so that was like the main reasons why I decided that selling up would be better. And plus in five years, I don't know where I want to be. Um, you know, and I don't think that I, I mean, I love having a house and I love having a garden. You know, I love my garden. I spent a couple of years getting, building this big jungle themed garden and I love it. But, you know, in five years, am I still gonna wanna maintain this or just want something smaller? I, I moved into this house from a, a bigger house and I moved because I wanted to downsize. So now I'm thinking this house is too small, which was funny because when I was looking, I thought, uh, sorry, that I think this house is too big for me now. And when I was looking to move, I, originally I was like, oh, this house is too small because I was so used to a big house. Um, but now I've got used to this and I realised I don't use three bedrooms and I, I use the lounge. I rarely use this room. I do when it's sunny. I come in here and read, but, you know, it's not like I I, I need it. So I think from my point of view, um, selling is the better option. And it gives me the flexibility to, if I find somewhere I really want to live and, and settle down, to do that. But, I'm you know, keep the capital safe. Um Another question I get asked a lot, because I have been going to Antigua every winter, and I do love Antigua, um, when I told people that I was uh, leaving the UK, uh, they all assumed I was going to live in Antigua full time. And um, now the reason I'm not doing that is because I've still got so much of the world to see. You know, I, I've always loved Asia and I can't wait to go back to Asia and spend some a long time there, you know, so not just like a couple of weeks holiday, but extended times there and, and really immerse myself in the culture. There's just something very special about Asia, Thailand, Vietnam, Cambodia. And I've not been to Malaysia, so I'm, and I'm really looking forward to going there. Um, so I'm not ready to settle down in Antigua, plus it's 
it's it's not a cheap place to live you know it's an island um and um it's beautiful don't get me wrong and it's not mega mega expensive it's about on par with the uk i would say but i'm not ready to settle down there and it's very difficult to get a visa there unless you um are doing the citizens by investment uh route which uh, at the moment is a, a minimum of a hundred thousand dollars but i think it's going up this year to two hundred thousand it's quite it's quite a chunk of money isn't it just to pay to the government to have the pleasure of living there um it's for rich people really not for people like me the only other option is to get married and uh, i'm not really keen on that um so that's uh that's why i'm doing what i'm doing um i'm excited for it you know i'm really I'm really, really excited to not have a home. Um, not, not, well, not to not have a home. It's always nice to have a home, you know, like that's why I go to the same place in Antigua every year because that feels like a home. I've made it homely. I have my own things there. And, um, but, you know, not to be responsible for a house anymore. So I won't have to worry about house insurance. I won't have to worry about block drains, leaking boilers, um, oh, leaky roofs, any of that. Well, I can't wait for that to be over. Likewise, I cannot wait to not have to worry about vehicles and taxes and insurances and fixing them and MOTs. That MOT on the van was a drama, wasn't it? But um, yeah, I'm I'm really looking forward to having that no no tie things and like the freedom to just move as you around as you want. And of course. Not having to, like, last thing you want is to be abroad, isn't it? Doing, you know, living your best life and visiting all these places. And then you get a phone call to say there's something wrong with the house. Oh, I can't be doing with it. You know, life's too short. You've got to live your best life. And, um, you know, I've got to that point in my life where the least stress, the better. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, update on the house sale. Well, I still have not heard anything. And I've chased them again this week a couple of times, both the agent and the lawyers. But I'm trying not to get stressed about it. I've been super busy with work this week, so that's helped, helped to take my mind off it. Um, my son, uh, my older son, came around uh, this week to catch up because, as you know, we, we work together. And uh, he could not believe how empty my house was. <laughs> yeah they're used to seeing what they would call crap everywhere but it's my treasures I tell them it's my treasures and I think I finally persuaded him to store my boxes for me when he saw there wasn't that many he wasn't so shocked about it so uh, I think I'm, I, I've worked on him so that would save a lot of problems so I don't really have much to update so I'm still I'm still sticking to the rule of um, chucking out one bag of rubbish a day or filling a box. I always get at least one thing done a day. Um, still got furniture up for sale and still selling clothes on Vimted and that. But honestly, it's it's so much clearer than it was. Um, I just can't believe how far I got. I never thought I'd even get this far. I mean, this room is bare. I mean, it was so full of pictures and stuff. And now it's just got the conservatory sofa, uh, sofa and chairs in it. Um, and the tables, and then boxes. There's boxes everywhere. Uh, and these ones aren't mine. They're going to someone else, but uh, I'm getting there, so I'm pleased with that. Um, anyway, I'm not getting stressed about anything. I'm just uh, keeping it chill. Looking forward to Australia, which is coming round. Oh, my God, I can't believe it's only about 10 weeks away now. Four years planning. Four years of this, and I'm going to finally happen can't wait can't wait and that will be my nice exit from the uk and yes i'll be coming back and forward to you know get planes to somewhere else but uh in general i won't be living here anyway let's get this house sold thanks for watching i will hope to give you a better update at the weekend take care bye